Uh, next up, we'll be talking about your in-command panel, uh, which you'll find located near the front door to your trailer. Uh, we'll be giving you a quick rundown on the various features located on that panel and how to access them. Some of our Cougar fifth wheels are going to come equipped with an in-command system, which will be the control center for your fifth wheel. Uh, starting on the front page here, if we press the power button, uh, we'll come up to a passcode setting. Initially, your passcode is going to be 0000, but you'll be able to change it to any passcode you like. Uh, on this menu, you see the options for your uh, heat and AC, uh, your overhead lights, the operation of your slides and awnings, as well as the settings for the in-command panel. Along the top row, we have the uh, gauges for your tanks, so you can see the levels of your fresh, your black, your gray, and your gray 2 tanks. Down below, we have the battery voltage, as well as the water pump and water heater on-off switches. Starting with uh, heat and AC, uh, we if we press the button here, it brings us up to our initial menu, which allows us to control our front AC if one is installed in the fifth wheel. Uh, this model has a front AC, which is located in the bedroom. Uh, you'll be able to operate either the fan or the air conditioner of your front AC, and you can control the temperature of that air conditioner uh, with the buttons here. Moving over to the next page, we have our rear AC. This page will allow us to control the rear AC, as well as the furnace, and the overhead vent fan. Starting off, uh, if we switch to mode, we'll bring up our fan, which is the fan in the air conditioner, and the fan speed controls are located here. Additionally, we have uh, the operations for your overhead vent, uh, which allows you to open and close this, as well as adjust the speed of that uh, vent fan. The next page brings up our air conditioner, uh, once again, we're able to change the temperature uh, with the temperature settings located over here. Um, we have the temperature set and the zone read. Um, the zone read will tell us the actual temperature in the room currently. You can also control the fan speed of your air conditioner with the fan speed settings. On the next page here, we have the furnace. Furnaces in our Cougars operate off propane gas, so you will need to have your propane open to operate your furnace and once again you'll use the heat settings to control the temperature of your furnace. Finally we have the auto mode uh, which is a unique feature to the in-command system uh, which will allow you to set a temperature for your specified room and have your air conditioner or your furnace kick in depending on whether the temperature needs to be raised or lowered. Uh, you can also schedule start and stop times um, for your air conditioner and furnace to come on so if you'd like one to come on when you're sleeping uh, you can set that up as well. Next up, we have your lights con light controls, uh, which is fairly simple. Um, we've got three settings on here that allow you to turn on your bedroom lights, uh, your ceiling lights, and your awning lights from this panel. Uh, as far as the bedroom lights and the ceiling lights are concerned, uh, each has their own individual switch in, in the corresponding rooms that will allow them to be turned off and on from in there in addition to the panel. The operation of your slides and awnings is on this panel here. Just a reminder, Make sure you always have your main compartment door open when operating any of your slides on the fifth wheel uh, to allow the air pressure from inside the trailer to escape. And finally, we have the settings menu, which will allow you to edit things like your passcode, date and time, uh, pair your phone to your panel with Bluetooth, and access the in-command app. Um, if you would like to use the in-command center from your phone, uh, there is an app available um, through your app store that will give you the same features that we see here on the panel. <laughs>